Hello, Big Boys Coin DIY. Thank you for joining me today. What I'm going to be doing today is a little unboxing on something. I did say in the video a few weeks ago that I bought two big things. Uh, one was the dust collector, and this is the other one what I bought. Well, I didn't actually buy it. I put money to it, and the rest of my family put money to it because it was my uh, 40th birthday last week. So they all chipped in and uh, bought me this as a present. It's the uh, Evolution Fury 5S table saw. It's a 255mm table saw. I'll just show you a little picture of it. It's going to be a bit tight for unboxing it in here because I haven't got a lot of room. But that's the actual saw there. It's a 938mm by 642mm table. It'll cut 85mm at 90 degrees, 65mm at 45 degrees, 3mm thick mild steel. It's 1500 watt mortar in it and it runs at 3250rpm. And it will cut steel, aluminium, wood all with one blade so I'm just going to get onto a little unboxing on this now I've been looking forward to, to doing this uh, well I've been looking forward to getting the table itself so there's enough reviews and things all over YouTube about these table saws and how, how they cut and how the blades are so I'm not going to go too much into it I'm just going to do a building video putting the saw together and uh, that'll be about it. Right, there's the actual contents of the box. You get the four, four cross braces will fit to the legs. You get the old destruction manual. So we'll have a look through that in a moment. You get the four legs. And then all the rest of it really is the saw and the, the table extensions. And looking down there is the, uh, the fence at the bottom. Right then guys. This is actually all the contents what you get in the box. You get the four legs. You get the four cross pieces for the legs, you get the side supports, you get two two legs what fit on the bottom to stop it tipping backwards. You get the, the rubber feet for the bottom of the legs, the blade guard, you get the rulers, the measuring guides, you actually get the fence bag of nuts and bolts, a dust hose and the uh, instruction books oh, and you get the uh, mitre guide as well right then, if you look on here now You've got four, four legs, and there's four rubber feet. Uh, what go on the bottom, on the bottom of the legs? They're very easy to put on. Just push on and push into place. Uh, I'm just going to get on. I'm going to have to do this in sections like this because uh, I haven't got much room to work in here. So I'm going to have to do it bit by bit and try and show you each step as I go along. Right now, when you come to put the legs on. There's little grooves on the bottom of the, the plastic moulding what line up with the holes in the legs. You can see these little holes are they have to line up with those and then put the bolts in. But just let me uh, explain that when you put the bolts in 
just knit this one up hand tight because you have to put the supports on for the table what holds the table extensions on and just show you on this as well the actual supports what go on the legs from here to here you've got two longer ones which go across the width of the machine and then you've got two shorter ones which go across the depth of the machine right <clears throat> we've got all the cross braces on uh, in the book they actually tell you to put the bolt without the washer and then on the back of it they put the washer the spring washer and the nut but I actually think that it's better to have a washer and the bolt rather than just the bolt going straight onto the burr metal um, I think it would actually be uh, better that you don't uh, pull the bolt through the metal because it is only thin metal legs but like I say evolution in the in the book it tells you to just to just put the bolt through without the washer there and the washer and the spring washer on the back but if you do it this way the way I've done it there won't be enough washers to finish the rest of uh, putting what you have to put on so I went out and actually bought some extra washers so I could actually finish it right I've put the two side extension tables on now this one here and the one over there uh, it is a little bit fiddly trying to put the nuts and bolts on on either side uh, I suppose the one way you could do it was flip it over onto its table top and then put them on that way uh, and then put the nuts and bolts through and get somebody to help you to flip it back over but th there was nobody here to help me today so I've had to struggle and do it on my own but uh, to put them on all I've done is put my spirit level across both sides all the way across so it comes from there to there as you can see there's no gap there coming underneath and the same all the way across um, just going to put the fence on and the uh, slide the, the rule in the, uh, on the front now and then uh, we'll show you that bit from there then Right, we've put the rule on, we've put the fence on, there's the blade guard, there's the mitre fence, and you get the push stick as well. I'm not actually going to put the blade guard on, I'd rather use them with item and then I can see where the blade is at all times. I'm not condoning that you do this, this is up to yourselves to do it if you want to do it, it's safety first, but I prefer to use them without the guard on uh, they're actually more of a pain than anything else to get the fence level and straight parallel to the blade if you need to adjust there's two 4mm allen keys in there you either slacken them off get the fence parallel to the blade and then tighten them back up everything's uh, this very very slight play in the back not a, not a great deal not you know if you're not pushing on it like with a hundred ton then it, it wouldn't move anywhere but you know there's a nice clamping action on the actual uh, lever And that's it guys, that's all I can tell you really. The blade, once you set it to zero, which is 90 degrees, is actually 90 degrees. I'm just waiting for my angle finder to come and then I can try it to see how accurate it goes at 45 degrees. Uh, but apart from that, yeah, that's the uh, Evolution Fury 5S table saw. I don't really think I need to show you anything being cut on it. You know, I'll, I'll know what these uh, what these saws can do. Yeah, that's the uh, 
evolution tables so it's all assembled now uh, I'm just going to have to make a smaller reducer for my uh, dust collector because my dust collector is a 4 inch pipe and this is an inch and a half pipe what's coming out of the back of the machine so I'm going to have to make a reducer to fit so they both work you know, together uh, but apart from that I was surprised when my uh, family put together and uh, bought me this I've been going on about buying a, a, t a half decent table saw for a while and uh, they know I've been talking about the evolution saws so they all chipped in together and, uh, and bought me this one uh, it was a big surprise out on my uh, 40th birthday but very grateful for what I got but uh, yeah thanks a lot thanks for watching if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you don't like the video give it a thumbs down uh, if you'd like to leave me a comment then please do leave me a comment I will answer your comments as the best of the knowledge of I can uh, but apart from that yeah have a very nice day and see you again soon